Puerto Rico is still struggling to come back from the destruction left by Hurricane Maria. Their struggle has global implications for so many of us who depend on pharmaceuticals. It's home to 80 pharmaceutical factories. They also make medical devices and supplies. The Food and Drug Administration has uh, come out and made statements and letting us know that they are taking a look at this, that this is something that, that, that they want to make sure that we don't see shortages. So they're working with drug companies that have plants in Puerto Rico. While many of the plants are back up and running partially, they still have to rely on generators and that slowed production. Plus, employees are finding it hard to get to work as they fight to live day to day. It's important to know that we may not see anything for a month or two. While officials won't say what specific drugs they're concerned about, they say they have compiled a list of 40 high priority drugs and are working with five companies to prevent critical shortages. Of particular concern, certain cancer drugs, immunosuppressants for transplant patients, and HIV drugs. Now is a more important time to keep an eye on. Local pharmacies say they are aware of the potential for shortages and they are watching their supplies closely. It's good to check ahead, um, you know, through our wholesalers and you can kind of keep an eye on how much, you know, medications are in stock. All right, so if you have drugs that may come from Puerto Rico, what can consumers do? All right, well, so we don't know what's on mm -hmm. the list because the FDA cannot tell us because of some right. privacy things. But we don't want to sound the alarm too much. But what pharmacists say you should do, and you should be doing it anyway, don't wait till the last minute to yeah. refill your... Till you've run out. Till you've run out. You know, get in there three, four days ahead of time. That gives the pharmacist time to check and make sure if there are no shortages. Right. And if there are some, Find you can call it. around and see where you can get it. Right. Or be in touch with your doctor to see if there's something that they should substitute. So Good point. Fascinating. stop procrastinating, everybody. Yeah, Lisa, thank you. <laughs>